Hi. Hello. Everything's working. We worked through our technical difficulties. We should have audio now. Yes. I'm Montana Max. And I'm Jen. And uh, she's my better half. You may have seen her on previous streams, but she's joining <laughs> up for a full forced encounter tonight. <laughs> yes. We compete together as uh, a team in the world of food sport. And in food sport, we are always on the search for new and exciting flavors. So what we're going to do is actually travel the world from our top deck tonight in the search of new exciting flavors. Yay. Right? Yes. So what we're going to be doing, even though we're not cooking something live, is we are going to be unboxing from Universal Yum's The Yum Yum Box. Inside this magical box from a destination is treats, snacks, varieties of food from a far off land. Mm -hmm. And you don't know what it is until you actually open the box. Mm -hmm. So. Can I open it? You can open it, go ahead. I'm excited. Let's right. see. Let's see where we are going on this trip <laughs> of flavor. These yums traveled all the way from Thailand. Da, 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 da. Oh. <laughs> Thailand, the land of tigers and ties. And ties. Yeah, that's where all the Father's Day gifts come from, is Thailand. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, it's a true story. Is that true? Yep. I don't know. Well, we got a map here which shows us where Thailand is, directly between uh, Myanmar, south of Laos, west of Cambodia, and north of Vietnam. So, no, it's all good. They can, they can Google where it is if they like further. They just need to see that it's a lovely little placard. What else comes in here? We got a little welcome message. We're so glad you're holding on to one of mm -hmm. our boxes in your hands. We are glad too. And then a book. There's a book that's going to guide us on our journey. Yes. Yes. Oh, there's trivia in here. There is, uh, looks like descriptions of all the different goodies inside. Um, and oh boy, we're going to learn a lot about Thailand because awesome. I know nothing about Thailand. I don't either. So let's, uh, jump into it, shall we? All right. Should we just pick one and just go for it well, or should we, where's the, we is do there a way have... to keep track of this? Well, right here. We have a scorecard. We have a scorecard, 12 different varieties of things and we can actually, uh, so we need a pen. Yeah, you oh, have a pen. Oh, we need a pen. We have a pen. Hopefully that All right, works. so let's pull something out here. What is that? that... Salt and sour. I'm gonna see if I can look it up here. Look it up I can't, in the book. I can't quite read that. I mean, maybe you speak. Thai. Thai. Thai? Yeah. I don't speak Do you? Thai. You don't, okay. I'm gonna find this one. Oh, this is... Go ahead and read about it. Ooh. It's salty lemon potato chips. Salty lemon potato chips. So, citrus, salt, potato. Yeah. Yep. All together, this finally at last. Sounds like this is from Bangkok. From Bangkok. Yes. This is probably the most popular city that I know of in Thailand. Right? I've heard of Bangkok. Yeah, it's supposed to be like... <laughs> I. I believe it's supposed to be like awesome for food. It looks like a potato chip. It does. This has got to be a good one. The smell There's good? not much of a smell to it. Mm, salty. Grab one. Okay. I'm not afraid of this. I'm not afraid of I this think one that, I think this is going to be good. It's going to be interesting, but okay, I'm not afraid. So gonna, okay. Mm. Kind of. Kind of good. Yeah, I mean, it's not a, you keep eating them. It's not a super amount of uh, of flavor. It's got some vinegar. It does. I actually kind of like that. It's all right. All right, that's so that's kind of nice. Fun. This is summertime chip. Summertime chip. That's I delicious. think that's a good description. So I'm getting. I'm. I'm starting to like it more. I think I'm just hungry. 
probably a little bit. I didn't feed me enough today. All right, that's this one. How would you how would you rank that one? What do you give it? I put it as okay. Just okay? Just okay. Okay. All right, make a scorecard here. Well, Should we do it on a okay. scale of one to ten? Yeah. I'll rate sure. this up. Five. It's very middle of the road for oh, me. I, I'm going to rank it higher than that. That's a five. I'm going to say that's it. I really liked it. I'm going to give it an eight. Okay. Okay. Yeah. You have the right to rank as you wish. Mm hmm All right. Oh. What do we got here? This is a purple bag. Oh, well, let me look at the purple look bag. Look it up. Tasto. Uh, sweet and spicy. Sweet garlic wheat crisps. How spicy? I don't know. I haven't tasted it. Those look, that looks like cereal. It does look like cereal. It definitely doesn't look like chips. Not much oh. of a smell to this either. Okay. Okay. Well, this is um, gonna. This says uh, this is from influenced by Malaysia and Java, where super spicy chili peppers reign supreme. I don't know about this. Well, you have to try it. That's the name of the game. You got to play the game. You don't get to opt out. Are I going to get a little one? No, you get the same size as everyone else and you have to eat the whole thing. Okay. Mm. It's sweet. It's sweet. It's at, not at as... At the beginning, there is a little heat at the end. Not much. That's better than I thought. Yeah. Actually... Oh, another? Yeah, that was not... I don't like spicy, so... Are you sure it's so spicy? You're the oh, one that read the deal. Spicy. Now it's getting a little spicy. Just a slight amount of spice on that. Those are pretty good. That, with a with a bowl of milk, I could eat that for breakfast. I'm heat. It's heating up as I eat it. But not bad. No. Should I try one? More? Did you eat one more? Yeah. All right. How are you gonna rank that? I'm gonna give that. Uh, I like that better than the chips. So I'm gonna go six. Mm. Okay. I think I like that a little seven. bit less. Than I'm going to give it a seven. You know what? I might actually be somewhere near that, too. I think I'm going to go because I kind of liked it. Let me go six. Six. Oh, what are we doing? What was that? Barker's messing with stuff. Oh. All right. Another chip. I need some water. Well, have a drink. That's why we got water. We got two waters because... We didn't know how much water we'd need in case something is really spicy or really not. <laughs> All right, so this is coconut chips. Coconut chips. Uh, with sea salt and caramel. Ooh. Windy. So these are going to be sweet. Should be a sweet relief. Sweet relief. Yes. After that intense amount of spice you I, just had. Yeah, but maybe we should save it for after that one. That one looks really the dangerous. The devil chips. But, all right, let's do this. I have a feeling I'm going to like this one. Oh, it's still this, hot in my mouth. Oh, these look a little bit. Ooh. Yeah, look at that. Well, that just, that looks like coconut. Yeah. Just straight well, up Well, they're coconut. coconut chips. All right. So it makes Can sense that it? it would look like coconut, doesn't it? That's very mm. sweet. That's right and taste the alley. And taste the caramel. That's really good. Oh, that's so delicious. Ooh, we should definitely cook with these. We could cook with these. Mmm. It would be fabulous for uh, dessert. Where are we going to get more? Thailand. Duh. Thailand.com. Yeah. We'll go to Thailand.com. Maybe we can go to UniversalYums.com and they'll have extras. What are we doing? Making a nice pile? Yeah. I'm just cleaning up a little bit. Mm. All right. I gotta rate that one. What are you gonna rank that? Mm, I like that one. That's probably a nine for me. I love it. Where is it? Which one? What was the bag look like? It is. There's like really tiny right pictures on here, but right here. That one. Yep. I'm giving that a nine. What do you got? Uh, I'm also gonna give that a seven. Hmm. I think it deserves better, but that's okay. You like sweet things though. Are we doing all the sweet stuff first? There's got to be some other stuff that's not. I don't know. I don't know. Here, let's try this. Oh, no. Yep. You oh, wait. What's that? This that's sour. Sour punk candy stick. Oh. Where's wait, that I think I list? saw a card. Right here. 
What is that? Oh, this is a, they changed one out. It was a replacement. They must have run out of something. Okay. So this is not from Thailand. I'm not. Yes, thinking. it is. Is it? Yes. It says these sour punk blueberry straws are produced by Thailand's general candy company. The local market leader in fruit candy for over 30 years. Well, there you have it. Mm. There this you go. Kind of looks like a worm. A well, licorice stick. A licorice stick? It's sparkly. It's got lots of sugar on it. Sure. I don't think it's going to be licorice-y. Mm. You don't even like sour. I'm not a big sour fan, no. Mm. This isn't overly sour, though. <laughs> it's a little sour. <laughs> it's too sour. Oh, my jaw's hurting. <laughs> Is it getting you, like, yes. right in there? Right in the... Starting to drool. <laughs> my <Good> breath napkins. <laughs> so that's a uh, sour punk candy stick. I don't know if I can finish this. I, I get those. I'll eat. Uh, All right. I'm going to give that a two. Where's that one? Oh, it's not on here, right? So it's one of them. We'll just put it down here. This is a replacement one. I'll give it a, I'll give it a five. I'm impressed you don't even like sour. Mm. I wonder if anybody else that's watching has ever tried this. The yum yum box. That's a good question. I'm curious. All right. What's, what is that? Can you tell me what that is? This is a fried shrimp with salad cream flavor. It's a Z roll oh. farm. It's a C roll. C roll farm. This is going to be interesting. It's so this a, is fried shrimp with salad cream flavor it says it's seaweed wrapped seaweed wrapped potato stick with fried shrimp and mayo flavor oh my gosh okay that i don't see the seaweed is it supposed to be seaweed around it what do we got oh it came apart it came apart in transit oh there's the seaweed all right you get to i'll, I'll take the seaweed the one without the seaweed. <laughs> you don't want seaweed? You sure? Pretty sure. I'm pretty sure I don't even want that at all. But, oh, what are you doing? I'm saving that. Oh, you're going to, we're going to share that one? Yeah. So here, you go ahead first. Mm -mm, you first. I insist. I smell it. Oh, God. <laughs> go for it. I don't know. Big bite. I don't think I can do this. Oh, it stinks. Big bite. Come on. That's the game. You go first. You are holding it. All right. If I get, if I take one bite, then you have to eat the rest of it. That's fine. If I, you will? Yeah. I'm not you're scared gonna, of it. You're going to eat the rest. I'm going to take one bite and you're going to eat the rest. Yeah. Go for it. All right. Was going to be a good bite. Not a gen bite. <laughs> oh. Can't spit it out. I am so gross. What are you gonna do? Spit it all over the deck? <laughs> I can't do it. I can't spit it swallow out. Swallow it. Chew. Chew. I don't think I think it will come back up if I swallow it. No, it won't. That is different. Oh, that is nasty, raunchy, really bad. I gotta wash my mouth out. You have water. Where are you going? Sit down. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, she's having a little difficulty with that one. Oh my gosh. How are you gonna rank that one, babe? Zero. You gotta rank it a one. You can't rank it zero. Negative 100. Oh, it's not that bad. 
Oh, it's like it's like you. freeze dried sushi, isn't it? So Jen ranks it a one. No, I'm not yeah. ranking it a one. You can't rank it a zero. I can zero rank it nothing. a zero. Zero, zero is <laughs> nothing. It has to score something. One's the worst that you can do. I need to eat something else quickly. All right, I'm gonna give that a three. Not the worst thing I've ever tasted. <sighs> not the best. You said you'd finish it. I did. The whole thing. The whole rest of it Here. that's in there. <laughs> There's more. There's only half of it. It looked like vanilla wafer kind of things, but it was honey. Suba honey toasted flavored cream. I'm not sure this stuff's going to mix very It'll well. Right. Maybe we should spread this out. Mm. Oh, yeah. Yeah, let's just focus on what we're doing here. It's pretty, though. It's pretty out here. All right. Ugh. I gotta eat that. Pretty You're gonna like these. There we go. All right. Okay, moving on to something better. Yep, it's these guys. No, that's sticky rice. Oh. We don't have the sticky rice. Oh, this. Chalky wafer sabua sabua? Honey toasted flavor cream. Wafer cubes with honey toast flavored cream. This sounds way better. Mm -hmm. This will get that lovely shrimp taste out of your mouth. It's based on Japanese honey toast. Huh. A dessert made by brushing a loaf of a uh, whole loaf of soft bread with butter and honey, caramelizing it in the oven, then popping it, topping it off with a huge melty scoop of ice cream. Okay. You're gonna like this. I just tried it. It's good. It's real good. There's mm. another one for you. Mmm. Mmm. That is really good. It's kind of like uh, those wafers we used to have with kids that would come in the fun colors, like the pink and remember the wafer stick? Oh, yeah. You know wafers? No, they were, they're like long, skinny yeah. ones. Mm -hmm. My grandma would buy those. This is good. Yeah. I'm going to give that an eight. Mmm. I can give that a 10, I think. Audio Maybe a 9. I'm going to give it a 9. Yeah, Where's that? How many Where was, that? what were you giving uh, it? Where was that? 8. 8. To all three people watching. Hmm. All right. You ready for another one? Uh, maybe. Okay. What's that say? I find it. Thai coconut roll with natural banana. Ah, oh, banana coconut roll. Oh yeah. I heard some bananas. They say that wild banana trees are haunted in Thailand. In Thailand, by a ghost woman. That's why Thai folks refuse to grow the trees, banana trees, near their homes. Well, they right. still eat bananas, apparently. Yes, I guess they do. So it's only the tree that's haunted, right? Not the bananas. Not no, the bananas. I think we're safe to eat this. Okay. Let's try it. Ooh, these are interesting. Look at that. Hmm. Those look kind of good. Oh, they're hollow. They are I hollow. figured they'd have something in the middle. No. Interesting. I didn't too. That's weird. It looks like they should be filled with something. You look like These man versus cool. food. Interesting you bring <laughs> that up. I've had a few encounters uh, Cannelloni. where I have actually done a little competitive eating, have I not? Oh gosh. I, yes. I have multiple burrito <laughs> shirts from taking down giant burritos. I've done that twice. And each time I said, uh, uh, I would never do it again, and then I did it again. <laughs> the last time was a five-pound burrito. Yeah. And I actually set the time record on that one that stood for a, well, over a year. It was quite a while that the time record stood. Yes. So, not that that's something to uh, <laughs> be uh, super proud of, but yeah. I did it. He did. He did and, do it. It is true. And I felt... I, he has the t-shirt to prove it. I have the t-shirt to prove we'll, it. We'll have to have... You'll have to wear it next next time we stream maybe, to maybe prove we'll, it. Because we'll I think they want 
proof. Maybe we can do that. You Subscribe, your and you will shirt. see the burrito shirt. <laughs> we'll do a burrito episode where we we cook burritos. We could do uh, three oh, burritos. but not five pound burritos. No, we're not going to do that. We're not. That, we're not that. I wouldn't wish that on anybody. Thank you very much. <laughs> awesome. All right, we got to try this. Oh. Miniature cannelloni banana. What? Roll. Banana coconut. Mmm. Crumbly. Yeah, it is crumbly. I'm not a huge banana fan, but you know, it's not overpoweringly banana y. At least it tastes like real banana. Yeah, it is. It's got to be like. This does not taste like artificial no. banana. No. This would be good with ice cream. Mm hmm. I think. It's not my favorite, but it's. No, but it's not it's horrible. Got, uh -uh. It's not horrible. I'm going, I'm giving that a five. There's. Toss a little crumbs over the deck. Oh, yeah, well, that'll be fine. <laughs> uh, here we go. Where's the bananas? Right here. I'm giving that a five. What are you go going with that one? I'm going to say a five also. I think we're on the same page. Five. You haven't been in a sauce factory. What is that? Let's see. We are back to lock in Barcelona. Lockdown. Really? Being quarantine? I would assume so. Oh. Thank you for joining from Barcelona. That's wow. really cool. Uh, wow. Do you have uh, interesting foods in Barcelona? Because as you can see what we're doing here tonight with the Yum Yum box, this is all Thailand. It'd be interesting to, to try the food of Barcelona and see if, yeah. if that's different or maybe it's not uh, that different. I don't know. Mm-hmm. Oh, man versus food with the sauce factory. That's also funny. I actually uh, do uh, work in a sauce factory. Yeah, <laughs> so that's weird. <laughs> I have been to a sauce factory. In fact, in fact, I'm there five days a week, mm -hmm. if not more. I uh, work in uh, barbecue sauce. Yes, really. I'm not even. I work for a company. You'll see down here. These are uh, people that sponsor us in competitive food cooking, where we do barbecue uh, culinary fight club, which is kind of like chopped. Uh, except in front of a live audience, and we're also part of World Food, uh, which was canceled this year with all the stuff going on. But mm -hmm. uh, anyways, down here, uh, uh, you'll see Croy Valley Foods. I actually work for them as an account manager. But uh, yeah, every day I go to uh, a sauce factory. There's a chain American shop in Spain with the famous stuff. Hmm. I don't know about that. I don't either. What's the, but the prize is, but the prize is the double than Amazon. Oh, it's gotta be the, the, the price. Oh, oh, super expensive, huh? That's cool. Uh, hmm. You got a score here, the banana. I do. I, yes. I'm gonna give it a five also. You're gonna, okay, so middle yeah. of the road. Not horrible. Not, uh, the not, best. Yeah. But not the worst. So we've been through one, two, three, four, five, six, seven of the twelve. Wow, we still have items. a few more. Are these getting more dangerous? I don't know. That's oh, this is oh, okay. Oh, sticky rice. Yeah. With coconut cream. Give mm. us a give us a little uh, synopsis here from the the handy Universal Yum Yum Guide to Thailand Food. <laughs> yeah, rice is eaten with every meal in Thailand. So um, actually, their verb meaning to eat, kin kao, literally translates to eat rice. So mango sticky rice is Thailand's most beloved dessert. This is a dessert. Oh, well, that's interesting. Yeah. So this so, says 15 seconds in microwave for better taste, ready to eat. I, I think we should microwave it. Well, um, we have a microwave right inside the house. We're just on the, the deck here at Montana Max Great Lodge. So do you want right. to nuke that for yeah, 15 I'll be right. seconds? I will do that. I will be right back. All right. There she goes. 15 seconds in the microwave. Hopefully uh, that's 15 American seconds translates over to 15 <clears throat> Thailand seconds. I guess we'll find out uh, sooner rather than later. And then we're going to be down close to the the end here. Now the the, the shrimp thing was a little bit 
odd. That definitely takes the cake for the the oddest thing. I don't. I would never go into the gas station or anything like that and uh, pick one of those off for like, oh, I'm gonna hit the road, need some snacks. Let's get a sushi stick. Do you make recreations of the American Civil War? Do I personally make recreations of the American Civil War? Well, it's because, you know, you look like you could. Well, yeah, I do have the look where, you know, I could probably <laughs> Gettysburg it up. Uh, I think so. I haven't taken up that hobby. I've been too much time cooking, but. Ooh, this is hot. All right, sticky rice time. This, I think you have to mush it a little bit. It's, it's 15 seconds and it's like super hot. Oh, oh I need a fork. Stonewall Jackson beard. <laughs> Pretty soon it's going to be ZZ Top beard. No, 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 no. No. I'm going to use the scissors at night. I got it. I yeah, but do you want a spoon? Or Problem. maybe a fork? Maybe Whatever. we should have a utensil. A utensil of some sort. That's yeah. Fine. And if you're following us here on Twitch or over on YouTube, please subscribe to either. You can follow us on our Instagram, which is this way. Uh, you'll see that we do all sorts of cooking year round up here. We're in Minnesota and America. Uh, we got people joining us from Barcelona, which is awesome. Uh, but we do cooking year round. We have quite the climate here. You can see all the different stuff that we uh, have made mm -hmm. uh, for competitions or just when we're here. Uh, and make sure you keep uh, subscribed so you can tune in and watch the different stuff we cook. Last night we made burger bowls, uh, Parmesan carrot fries, and Montana Max, root and tootin', uh, <laughs> selling sauces. Bourbon link. baked beans. I gotta get that link added. We're pretty new to this. If you wanna check out the website, it's just www.croyvalleyfoods.com. Mm -hmm. uh, we have a whole variety of different sauces and, and products and stuff. Uh, All right. But yeah. And, th and that link is on also, I keep pointing the wrong way and I don't want to stab you with a fork. Here. No, don't do uh, that. You can find that on our <laughs> Instagram and our Facebook page as well. All the links to all of the sponsors that we work with down here and actually score some discounts from the Beard Struggle and Con Coolers. Oh my goodness, oh, look at that. Oh, too fast. Uh, www.croy, that's right spelled there, valleyfoods, F-O-O-D-S dot com. And like I said, that link is available uh, in our Instagram. We'll make sure to update it on our Twitch page yeah. and YouTube and also on Facebook. Look, French, like LaCroix. Like LaCroix, yes, but Croix yep. without the le. Yeah, no le. <laughs> no le. No le. <laughs> Just Croix It's valley. based on a valley here, which is called Croix Valley in the area. Mm -hmm. So. Oh, my goodness. Now there. this is supposed there to be a dessert. Go. No, no, oh, no. Oh, no, you want to just no. dish your own? I was going to get a little bit. A no. Croy Valley Foods. F O O D S dot com. So almost. You're just missing the foods. This is really sticky. Like, talk about sticky rice. It's super sticky. <laughs> you don't like it. It's a texture thing. It is a texture thing. Are you gonna? Are you gonna? Be it's okay? not bad. No, okay. it's not bad. It's not super weird. <laughs> You're not making me want to try this. Well, that's the name of the game this evening, dear. You got to jump into the yum yum box with both feet here. Okay. <laughs> See, the face I made was appropriate. I even tried a little bit more. What do you think? It's, it's weird. Squishy. It's super squishy. weird. It's, it's like a. It's dessert. I don't get the mango. I do. Do you? Maybe I'm just not mango. But that's though. not the weird part. It's like a. It's like a rice gelatin kind of. Yeah. Just. Yeah. It's really weird texture. That's different. The flavor is not like. The flavor is not like horrible, horrible. Just. Uh, All right. Judge's score. Oh, he was writing Croy Valley. Yeah, I already talked oh. to him about that. He just oh. missed the foods on it. Oh. Uh. <laughs> that wasn't as bad as the shrimp roll. So I gave the shrimp roll a one. I'm going to give that one a two. 
two. I'm with you. I, that's something we can agree on. We'll bo I'm bo we're both scoring that two. We're scoring on a 10 point must system here in the food box knockout <laughs> challenge. Duh. How many more do we have? What do we have? Oh, there must be some things inside that. Let's in open the, that. In the yum yum bag. Look, kids, we've got a yum yum bag. <laughs> What's in the sack of yum? <laughs> yeah, it's got to be this other stuff. It's probably like candies and things. We oh, hope yeah. So. It is. What do we got? Oh. Okay. So it's different kinds. Yeah. So we've got these, these, and we've got three different kinds. And it says good things come in small packages. All right, so it looks like we're into the Thailand candy round. <laughs> this is going to get it super extreme and crazy. <laughs> All right, so which one do you want to start with here? Oh, do we just go by color or do you want me to look this up? Well, I think I want to look it up. It up. I want yeah. to see what it is. So find the air that's uh... the green one with the flower. Yes, that it's is... got a sunflower on it. Yep, so those are orchard banana chews. Orchard banana chews. Mm -hmm. Tell so, me more. It is made with real banana. Um, banana. They say, uh, I think that they grow a lot of bananas in Thailand. Yes, not near their house though, because their trees are haunted. Yes. So, but they most banana candy tastes super fake because it's not real banana made with real bananas. But apparently, theirs is made with real bananas. Okay. Well, which is really difficult to do, I guess. Well, yeah, saying. because to harvest bananas, you risk running into a ghost. Yeah. <laughs> like, Are these, like, chewy? I, well, it's... It says it's a chew. Yeah. I don't know if I can get into it. There we go. Got it. <laughs> All right. Well, that's not the color of a banana. It's not the color of a banana. You are correct. Bananas are blue. <laughs> Maybe an, an old banana? Like, I don't think... <laughs> Bananas are not blue. No, they are not. All right. This is like brown. Try it. Hmm. Very chewy. Well, it's a chew. It should be chewy. <laughs> Something off about it. <laughs> it tastes like. Like, when the bana bananas are brown, and we would just eat it, like a brown banana. That's what maybe tastes that's like. Maybe that's what they use. Maybe they don't use the fresh ones. Maybe that's like, you know, like how we make banana bread with the brown bananas, because they're like. I'm not loving it. Send it at least to the UK. <laughs> <laughs> All right, not loving it myself, but what do you want to give that? I'm going to go with like a two again. Two on that? Yeah, for me. I'm with pretty you. pretty low. I'm with you on pretty that. Pretty low on that. All right. All right, what else we got? Oh, we got two other candy-ish things here. All right, we've got... Finding candy this one. is a relative term. Here we go. These are Calypso corn-flavored candy. Corn-flavored candy. Yeah, and it's... No, it's not candy corn. It's... No corn candy not candy corn right got it got it this one is much easier to open okay <laughs> good i don't and know i've never had corn candy that an, sounds really weird cream color oh and it's got an extra wrapping inside don't eat the inside wrapper I, you can see that i have successfully removed both wrappers this is not a chewy and not chewy this is harder. <laughs> yeah, don't choke. No, it's a chew. It is a chew, but it's harder. Take some working. <laughs> working to work it. It's good for your jaws. Exercise. Something. <coughs> Pull my freaking fillings out. <laughs> I really like this candy. Okay, it's starting to taste like corn. Well, yeah, it does. It tastes like canned corn. It tastes like corn. Ooh, I hate it. It's <laughs> gross. <laughs> okay, I spit this one out. Well, we gotta eat it. 
You would be disrespecting the people of Thailand. Oh, I don't think so. I bet they don't eat that either. <laughs> oh, that one's a one or a zero. I kind of like corn, so I'm going to go with a three on that. Oh, God. How can you mix corn and candy? Well, they just did. Mm-hmm. We did when I you... really feel like spitting it out. You can. Have some water. God. Have some water. That wasn't very polite on that's all right. stream, but that's a, I couldn't swallow it. These things happen when you're traveling the world and have eating corn candy. Right. Oh, I got a little corn candy here stuck in my teeth. <laughs> mm, that coconut stuff's good. Yeah, the mixture of this stuff, Parker, our tech guy here. You're gonna have to taste all this stuff and I can't wait to watch. All right, <laughs> what's the last candy? Wait a minute, do you wanna do this last or? This. Oh, wait, that last? That looks like a horrible ending. Well, that's we're going out with a bang. All right, how come there's just two? Because I put the other two in here. Oh, because there's only two of us? Right. <laughs> if it's good, you give me one. Okay, I'm gonna find it. This is called, oh, this is the salty pineapple. Salty pineapple. It is pineapple hard candy with the salt center. Do you want to save this after that? You want to finish with the candy? I think we should finish with the candy probably. All right. I, I'm just, I'm thinking we won't even be able to taste the candy after we taste that, but. We'll find out. <clears throat> All right, fine. You should show them what this bag looks like. This is the devil chip. Like pesto, peso, I think I've seen that company. Pre-Columbine. I sent you the worst candies in the world. <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah, they are so far some of the worst candies I've. If you love corn. If you like corn. And chewing hard objects like rocks, <laughs> then you'll love Thailand corn candy. <laughs> All right, on to the devil chips. It okay. says devil on the bag. Tasto devil. These are, let me, we got to talk about it first. Yeah, go ahead. Okay, because this looks dangerous. Thai chili pepper potato chips. Oh, that means, oh, it okay. means pre -col so, col columbine means no sugar. Just honey to sweet it. Oh. Interesting. Huh. Oh. Learning We're learning something. a lot tonight. Yes, no kidding. This is very educational. Um, so Northern Thailand prefers less spicy foods. North Thailand represent. Southern Thailand prefers. South side? Super spicy foods. Okay, so which one's this from? South? This one's straight from the south. Straight. Of, of, Hence the devil. devil they are devil flavored. Down to Thailand with, looking for a chip to eat. <laughs> they are flavored with real Thai chili peppers. You'll find dried bits of them in the bag, which clock in about 15 times hotter than jalapenos. Oh no. I don't think I'm gonna be able to do this. You one. gotta try one. Yeah, at least one. Do it for Twitch. You can't even talk. Because you're not doing it. I'm just gonna smell it. Yeah, they, oh. they smell hot. Oh, they smell like they smell that just hot. burned my nose hair. I, I really would like to watch you eat it first. The whole thing, yes. Yeah, look at the camera so everybody can watch your tears. Are you gonna eat more? Oh my gosh. It's not that bad. For me? You'll be fine. You're such a liar. What are you talking about? Yes, he's a liar. He is such a liar. What are you talking about? Keep going. It does have a kick to it. It does have a kick. It's not the spiciest thing I've ever ate. It is spicier than a jalapeno. Well, I don't like spicier than jalapeno. Just have a small bite. I like barely it, like jalapenos. I like these. I think they're good. 
Like a case. Just have, you gotta experience the world. You know what though? Experience Thailand. It just made me think. I like jalapenos because they have cream cheese. When they have cream cheese. There's no them. cream cheese to dip this in. We can dip it in some cream cheese. Eat the chip. <laughs> and I'll take that because you won't want any more. Mm. Oh my God. <laughs> I swallowed it. You swallowed it? No. You're probably gonna die now. It's burning all the way down. Did you chew? Or did you just swallow it whole? <laughs> I didn't chew it enough. You have to chew. Mm -mm. It's too late. It went down already. Well, I understand that now. What do you I can score? feel it in my ears and all the way down my esophagus. Oh, that was horrible. What are you going to score that? One? I like it. That was it. as bad as the... Oh, this is my first... I'm giving this a oh, nine. No way. Yeah, I love oh, it. Oh, no way. It. Keep eating. I've got to share with people. But I would. <laughs> I would eat the whole bag. I could eat the whole bag. Parker, no, you know what? We need to make Olivia when she gets here. We're going to tell her that those are our favorites. We're going to put them in a dish and not tell them what they are. Oh, yeah. Good idea. Yeah. Next time, she'll, she'll be she'll be hungry when she gets home from work. All right, yeah, we'll give her devil chips. All right, pineapple salt candy. This is the last one on on the list here. I still got to get that flavor. It's gonna stick with you. Yeah, I can still feel it in my ears. <laughs> here, have some coconut chips. <laughs> That'll make you feel better. Maybe. You like but, those? Mm-hmm. Those are good. I think I need something more like milk or something. I didn't even have a big bite of that. Well, it's spicy. That is incredibly hot. That uh, flaming Hot Cheetos, you got nothing on those. American, I've never had Americans Flamin' Hot Cheetos. Americans are weak with spice. Mm, apparently. Yeah, it's true, it's true. It's okay. like when we go to the uh, Thai restaurant, and I'm always like, make it spicy, and they're like, <laughs> and I'm like, no, make it spicy, because I really do enjoy spice. I yeah. enjoy that, and then they're like, they don't think I'm going to be able to handle it, and I do, but I, you know, somebody like you that had that, you know, will light your, light your lips on fire. <clears throat> See, I just think I have more sensitive taste buds. That Everyone's tastes are different. All right, well, speaking of taste, let's jump into pineapple candy All here. Right. It's the last one? Is this the last one, man? I think so. Oh, look, it's so cute. It's a heart. See? Huh. Looks like there's something inside. Salt. That's all salt? Apparently, from the description you read, mm -hmm. before we ate yeah. double chips. Mm -hmm. Don't eat the wrapper. Mine's stuck to the wrapper a little bit. Would like, you like some help? No, I got it. All right. There we go. Mmm. It was much better than the chips. I would say good. If you like pineapple, which you don't necessarily. Uh, I'm not the biggest pineapple fan. I do eat it on occasion, though. I mean. Yeah. I don't hate it. No, you just don't. Not a fruit person in general. Yeah, I'm a meat man. That's why I cook meat. Pretty much fruits and vegetables you could live without. Not technically. <laughs> Not I, need them, I need them for their vitamins. Yes. Because they're good for you. Yes, they are. All right. Oh, this is there's good. There's the salt. There's the salt. Yeah, salt. Broke mine open. Did you? Yep. Is, it, is it bad? It's not horrible. Oh, yeah, I bite into it? Oh. Yeah. Definitely has salt in the center. Yeah. Just like real, just like salt, salt. That's like sea salt. Yeah. It's like salt. It's actually not a bad combination. You know what? I think it's too much salt. I'm scoring okay. that, uh, I'm scoring that a six. Hmm. Not a big fan. I only have that four. Four? Yeah, I don't like the salt. All right, so. Devil Chips was the clear winner for me. 
You're crazy. I am crazy. And then you had uh, the wafers mm. and the coconut were your two clear winners. Yes. Very interesting, though. Yeah, and this so is fun. It says vote on the upcoming box. Vote on an upcoming box. Where should we go next? Let's decide together. Mark the country below you'd most like to visit. So it looks like next month, and we'll do this every time we get one of these boxes. This is fun. Yeah, this is fun. This is fun. Mm -hmm. uh, next month, we will be receiving a box from either Portugal, Spain. We were talking about Spain a little bit earlier. Uh, or Croatia. Mm. Any of those three would definitely be interesting. Yeah. Yeah. So I guess we'll be surprised. Yeah. Well, we will be surprised. We will be we surprised. Know. And we will have you here right along with us as we go through another country and mm -hmm. open the Universal Yums Yum Yum box. Yeah. I had fun. Yeah, it was fun. It you was, like that? Yeah. I think... I think this is a fun box. As far as like those subscription boxes go, this is one of the more interesting. Yeah, that's uh, <clears throat> that's definitely true. Yeah, very fun. This thing has a bunch of trivia in it and stuff like that too. Do you know what? I'm gonna ask you a couple of things just to see if you know. Okay, go ahead. Being a chef, all right? Maybe you'll know this. A chef in Thailand uses blank to cook his famous chicken. Okay, four choices. You listening? Yes. He's not cheating. This is a scorecard. Yeah, no, I was reading <laughs> a deal here. You can like tag him on social media and they draw lucky winners. And so it says like, what's your favorite one? You put the number in uh, the bag oh. and they draw and they'll send you more of your favorite if you are one Ooh. of lucky. So we could potentially get a whole deal of devil chips. Ah. Uh. <laughs> awesome. Sweet. Awesome. Okay, so. Yes, okay. Now so, we with trivia. It's trivia all time. Right. He's really good at trivia, but I don't know about Thailand trivia. We'll find out. Only one way to find okay, out. Okay, so a chef in Thailand okay. us uses what to cook his famous chicken? 1,000 mirrors, a flamethrower, an ancient oven, or boiling seawater? Oh, you know, I'm going to go with boiling seawater. Wrong. Flamethrower. Wrong again. Ten million mirrors. <laughs> a thousand mirrors. How do you cook with a thousand mirrors? <laughs> Apparently you can. A thousand perfectly aligned mirrors to harness the sun's uber hot rays in Thailand. Um, roadside vendor. Um, a, there's a specific roadside vendor named here that cooks his chicken in just 12 minutes using a thousand mirrors. That I gotta see. That's pretty cool. We should look him. Like we should look him up. Sila Suthrat. Huh. I'm probably not saying that correctly. Probably not, but so, that's yeah. interesting. Yeah, that's really interesting. Okay, you want another? Yep. Um, Parabolic mirrors. Okay, here's another uh, food-related question. Which of the following originated in Thailand? And you guys can answer too. Anybody that's watching, if you know the answers. I'll give you a second to answer before I answer. If anybody knows the answer to this, which of the following originated in Thailand? Sriracha sauce, Tabasco sauce, ramen noodles, or soy sauce? I think I know this one. I do. I think I know this one. I bet you're going to be wrong. You think you know this? No yeah. Comments yet on All right. Well, let's see. All right. I wonder if anybody else knows. We'll find out, but <clears throat> I'm going with sriracha. I believe that's a Thailand sauce. Yes. I got one. It is sriracha. I knew that from the bottle I cooked with It sriracha. originated nearly a hundred years ago in southern Thai town of where sriracha. They, where they like it spicy. Sri okay, so how do you spell sriracha? S-R-I-R, -R, right? Sriracha. Sriracha is the name of the town it came from. Oh, hmm. I did yeah. not know that. Yeah, hundred years ago. Okay, we got another one. Okay. Which of these <clears throat> means LOL in Thailand? Crab, 555, five, five, lip, or zoo? I know this. 555. Five, five. <laughs> yes, yep. you got that. I guess lucky. That's good, <laughs> good job. <laughs> okay. Give me another one. 
there is a famous Thai restaurant uh, located in a cave in an underwater dome in the treetops or underneath a waterfall. I'm going to go with underneath a waterfall because that sounds like a lovely place to eat. That's a good guess. But that's not it. What is it? In the treetops. So there's a restaurant called Soniva Kiri um, where diners eat their meals in wooden pods suspended 36 feet up in the rainforest canopy. Oh, that With be cool. waiters zip lining to and fro in order to take orders and transport, transport hmm. food. What a cool idea. That is cool. We're going to have to look that up too. Yeah, that's pretty neat. We got to go to Thailand. That's pretty cool. We're going to have to go to Thailand, yes. Yes. And put that on our bucket list. We'll bring back everyone corn <clears throat> candy. <laughs> okay, you want another one? Yeah, give me another one. Okay. Kids in Thailand's Mokin tribe can do what? which of these things? Whistle with perfect pitch, <clears throat> smell fish from a mile away, see perfectly underwater, or climb 60 feet in 10 seconds. I'm going to say it's going to be one of the last two. Let's say climb 60 feet in 10 seconds. They probably climb trees super fast. <laughs> no, <laughs> but that's a funny answer. No, so with training, these Mokin children are able to make their pupils smaller, much like dolphins, oh. allowing them to see underwater, and they collect clams and sea cucumbers on the ocean floor. See, I knew it was going to be one of those two. I didn't know. That's so weird. They train their eyes Apparently to see underwater. Can. That's intense. That's really intense. Wow. Okay. Misbehaving Thai police officers have to wear blank as punishment. Neon orange fedoras, Hello Kitty armbands, or polka dotted jackets, or banana leaf underwear. Oh I'm gonna go with. <laughs> Jeez. Uh, say, give me the choices again. Um, as punishment, misbehaving Thai police officers have to wear what? Neon orange fedoras, Hello Kitty armbands, polka dotted jackets or banana leaf underwear polka dotted jackets nope they get to wear hello kitty really on their bicep <laughs> how dumb that's funny they should do that here in america <laughs> they have to wear a pink heart covered hello kitty armband oh my gosh over their official uniform oh my god that's that hilarious. hilarious that is really funny oh my goodness those are pretty good, huh? I put in the link before I got it. Oh, perfect. How are we doing, huh? We're good. Yeah. I had some devil chips. Some more? Yeah, I like them. That's because you are the are devil. Are we out of trivia? It's because you're the devil. I know, I am the <laughs> devil. That is my chip. I need angel chips. Yeah, we'll, we'll wait till the country comes across that has those. <laughs> is that it for trivia? Did we do them all? No, no, I have another one. Wait. Okay. Thailand is the only country the only country home to which of these animals okay okay the only country that has these animals okay red elephants i've never heard of red elephants have you okay sand eating tortoises waterfall climbing fish or hairless tigers none of these exist one of them has to, and it exists in Thailand. <laughs> I know. And since there's hairless cats, I'm going to say there's a hairless tiger in Thailand. Wrong. Well, what is it? Waterfall climbing fish. Huh. I believe that because salmon here. That is weird. That's why I'm upstream like crazy, so. That is super freaky. It's They are a blind fish species. It's able to climb the walls of water waterfalls much like salamanders huh that is weird <laughs> that is super weird <laughs> okay there's i think one more it's a thai tradition to call newborn babies what what i have no idea smelly fat annoying or ugly those are all horrible things to call a baby ugly baby Ugly babies. No, ugly you shouldn't babies. call babies ugly. 
All oh, babies are beautiful, all right? Um, the answer true. is, oh, superstitious locals believe evil spirits steal away cute babies. So even if a baby is adorable, you better not say so. So in fact, the ruder you comment, the better. So ugly. They, yeah. So ugly babies in Thailand. It's a tradition oh. to call their babies ugly. Hey, Thailand, every single one of your babies is ugly. Super duper ugly. You're welcome. Well, well, we hope that that's what this says here. Now, hopefully that's true because you just made a big comment. Well, I'm, I'm, that's considered a compliment. <laughs> that's what it says. We're going by the trivia challenge because that's what it says. Yeah. So ugly babies in Thailand. Yeah. Not necessarily accurate, but. If you're in the Thailand market and you just had a baby, I hope it is grotesque. Okay. So the spirits don't come and take it. What's up? So the name of their king. This is the name of their king. Why don't you read that name? This is the whole name. Well, here a log of corn and bargain smorgen dorgan. This is like the Swedish chef. <laughs> you can do Swedish chef. Bork, no. Bork, bork, bork. No, no, you got to read it. Like the actual consonants and syllables. No, that's not how it works. I think so. No, you're wrong. What? Okay, how do you do it then? I don't know. I'm not Thai I'm not from Thailand. This this uh, has to have at least a hundred, no more, probably two hundred letters in the king's name. Yeah, don't mess up the king's name. Crazy. It's Vijaralongkum Boro Makinke Addison Anti Tadi Rong. You're probably insulting Sabro these people's king. Oh, right probably now. we shouldn't yeah. do that. Don't Just even stick try. with the ugly baby thing. Yeah, okay, that's better. Well, and then here's something interesting, too. There's all, there's all sorts of different stuff in these books, which is really neat. But here's a quick one. Uh, Sanuk means have fun in Thai, but it's more than a word. It's a local way of life. You'll have no trouble getting in the Sanuk spirit with these wild gems, which we did. And we hope you had a Sunuk time with us here this evening as we tried all these. Uh, <laughs> as always, thank you very much for joining us on our streams here. We hope you had uh, a Sunuk. I mean, Sinuk. I like it. Sunuk. Uh, Sunuk time with us here this evening. Once again, I'm Montana Max. I'm Jen. And this is my better half, Jen. And it'd be awesome if you follow us subscribe go check out our instagram facebook all that good stuff at montana max bbq and follow along with the journey we're going to be doing a lot of cool stuff so yeah you got anything you want to add well are we going to be live again tomorrow tomorrow we are going live uh Time? during the afternoon mm -hmm. oh uh we are going to be kicking off pun intended our uh sunday smoke downs because football season here in the States is getting ready to get geared up. And every Sunday we celebrate with awesome game day food. So make sure you tune in tomorrow. We're going to be adding all this to our schedule. And thank you so much for being here tonight. We hope to see you again soon. And thanks for spending some of your weekend with us. Yes, thank you so much. Hope to see you guys again. Bye. Bye.